Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous Sunday Granny Crochet Baby Blanket. You are going to love this pattern so much. It is a super simple one row repeat that is easy to remember and can be made any size. This open lacy design looks fantastic and can be made with any yarn in any color combination. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I'm speaking in this video. The finished size of my blanket is 30 four inches wide by 40 inches tall. I used 500 grams of saver for my blanket, but you could use 600, like three skeins right here. I used two and half of my last one. Of course, you can make your blanket any size you like. I ended up using 825 meters of a size four worsted weight acrylic. If you want to use the same color yarn, I will link it in the description box down below. You will also need 15 stitch markers, a hook, whatever hook goes along with your yarn. I'm using a six millimeter for this tutorial. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. So let's get started. making the Sunday Granny Crochet Baby Blanket, just make a slip knot, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. This pattern is a multiple of eight plus six. So I'm gonna chain sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and then get your stitch markers and to count your stitches. We don't count what is on your hook and we do not count the little knot that we made, our slip knot. We count these little V's in between. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight right underneath the hook. So just place your thumb on the pretty side of those V's and just gently turn it to its side. We wanna be looking for these camel bumps along the back or these back loops. So the first one is right underneath our working yarn, that first little camel bump or back loop right here. We wanna pop a stitch marker into that back loop, the eighth back loop or the eighth chain that we made. You don't have to work into your back loops, but it does make your blanket look nicer when you are finished. So now pause the video and keep chaining eight and popping a stitch marker into the eighth chain all the way along until you have used up your 15 stitch markers or you have chained 120. Once you have chained 120, go ahead and chain six more. For this tutorial, I'm just doing a smaller sample. So chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now again, put your thumb on those cute little Vs, the pretty side of your chain, and just roll it to the side. We wanna just look for our back loops again. So the first one is right underneath the working yarn. We wanna go in to the second back loop or the second chain. So just slide that back loop onto your hook and make one single crochet. Chain one. Now we're gonna skip three chains. So looking again at those back loops, there is one, two, and three. We are gonna go into the fourth chain right here. So wrap your yarn and into the fourth chain. Just pop that back loop onto your hook and make one double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet into the same stitch, that same chain. Chain one, and one more double crochet into the very same stitch. Chain one, skip three chains. So skip the one with the stitch marker. That's number one, two, and three. We're gonna go into the fourth chain, right there, the fourth back loop. So slide that fourth back loop onto your hook and make one single crochet chain three, one, two, three, 
and one single crochet into the very same chain. Just like that. Chain one. So now we're going to skip three chains, three back loops. There's one, two, three. We're going to work into the fourth, which is right before the stitch marker. So these stitch markers are going to help us keep track of our chain, make sure we're going into the right stitch. So wrap your yarn. And for this pattern, think a soda shop. Think a ice cream sundae shop. So into this back loop or into this chain, we are going to do a scoop. So that is one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, all into the same chain. So there is our scoop, chain one, now skip three chains again. So the first one has our stitch marker in it, so there's one, two, three, we're going to work into the fourth chain, and now we're going to do our cherry. So into the fourth chain, slide that back loop onto your hook, and make one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three, and one single crochet into that very same chain. Chain one. So there is our scoop, and there is our cherry. So now we're going to keep going along our chain, making scoops and cherries all the way until we reach the end. So to make a scoop, skip three chains and go into the fourth. So our scoops are that stitch right before our stitch marker. Go in and make one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet all into the same stitch and chain one. So that is our scoop. Now we're going to do our cherry. So skip three chains again. The first one has a stitch marker. So one, two, three. We're going to go right into the fourth and make our cherry. So cherry is single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet, and chain one, just like that. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, skipping three and making a scoop, skipping three and making a cherry, all the way along until you reach the end of your chain. Don't worry if your chain is all kind of bent up and it looks kind of funny, it will straighten out for the next row. At the end of your chain, you'll have four stitches left, so we just want to go right into that very last chain that last back loop, slide that onto your hook, and the end of our row is always going to be one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into that same stitch or that same chain. So that finishes row one. <music> to start row two, which is our repeat, chain one, and turn your work. And now we want to make one single crochet into this very first stitch right here along our chain, right underneath, right here. So put your hook in, one single crochet, chain one. Now we're going to jump over right into the middle of this first cherry right here, and we're going to do a scoop. So cherries get scoops, scoops get cherries. So into the cherry, we're going to make a scoop. So one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, all into the center of that first cherry. Chain one, into the scoop, we're going to find that center stitch right here, so the top of that center double crochet. I'm just going to go in, make sure you get two strands of that V on the top of your hook, and we're going to do a cherry. So put your hook in, one single crochet, chain three, and one single crochet, all into the same stitch. Chain one. Next we have a cherry, so into the center of the cherry you want to do a scoop. Scoops are one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, 
chain one and one double crochet with a chain one. So next we have a scoop. Scoops get cherries. If you just kind of pull that stitch, you can see the top of it opening right there. That is where we're going to be putting in our cherry. So into the top of that center double crochet right there, we're going to do our cherry. Slide your hook in and one single crochet, chain three, and one single crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, and jump over to the next cherry. Cherries get scoops, and scoops are one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, chain one. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, making a cherry into the center stitch of your scoops and a scoop into the center of your cherries all the way along until you reach the end of your row. At the end of your row, you will do your last cherry and your chain one, and you'll have this little bit left over on the end. We want to go right into the stitch right on the end, and you want to go in, make sure you have two strands of that V on the top of your hook. So wrap your yarn, and at the end of your row, into that last stitch, we're always going to end with a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. That'll help us have a really nice straight edge on our blanket. And that finishes row two, which is the repeat. For row three, I'll just give you a quick little recap how to start, how to do the first two, and how to finish. So to start your row, chain one and turn your work. And we want to go right into this very first stitch right here, right beside our chain. We want to make sure you have two strands on the top of your hook and you want to start with a single crochet. Chain one. Next is our cherry. Every cherry is going to get a scoop and scoops are one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, and a chain one. And next we have a scoop. Into the scoop, we're gonna do a cherry right into that center stitch, the top of that center double crochet. We're just gonna go right in, make sure you get two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, and make a cherry. Cherries are single crochet, chain three, and single crochet into the same stitch chain one. So now pause the video and keep working along, doing a scoop into the cherries and a cherry into the scoops all the way along until you reach the end of your row. At the end of your row, I've done my last cherry and my chain one. Now we want to end our row right into the top of this first real stitch, right here on the edge of our work. So wrap your yarn and we're going to finish with one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into that last stitch. Just like that. There is our nice straight edge. So now keep going, doing the same row back and forth until your blanket is the height you want it to be or you have run out of yarn. When your blanket is the height you want it to be, finish your last row, chain one, and turn your work. Make your single crochet into that very first stitch, just like we usually do. Chain three, one, two, and three, and make one single crochet into the center of that first cherry. So one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three, and into the center of your scoop, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Into the center of the cherry, one single crochet. Chain three. And into the center of the scoop, that center stitch, one single crochet. 
So now you can pause the video and keep working along, doing a single crochet, chain three and single crochet, either into the cherry or into the scoop, all the way along, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I've done my last single crochet into the scoop and my chain three. Now I'm gonna single crochet right into that last stitch, right at the end of the row. One single crochet. Chain one to secure your yarn and cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'd love to see how yours turned out. You can find me on social media. All of those links are in the description box down below. And if you haven't joined or subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click those buttons under this video right now. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked.